Hey guys, Jim at Rainwater Equipment and Rain Harvesting Supplies came out to the warehouse today where the uh, bench is for bench testing and I wanted to share with you something that uh, I thought would be helpful. Uh, this is a Grunfoss CU301 controller uh, with pressure sensor, also called a transducer, uh, that's very common uh, used with the SQE pump, a constant pressure uh, pump that Grunfoss offers. And these are preset at the factory at 70 PSI. So on occasion, we'll get requests for the pressure to be in increased. You can't actually go up if you push these buttons any higher than 70 unless they're adjusted either at the factory or if you have a Grunfoss Go remote. This is an expensive little tool that we offer that Grunfoss carries that lets you interface with the controller by using um, an app called the Go Remote, the Grunfoss Go Remote on your phone. And what they do is they send you this dongle that comes with a charger and you have to pair this dongle with your phone with the Go Remote app. And once that happens, then you connect to the device using infrared. And it essentially amounts to you know, pointing the dongle and your, your phone kind of at the device, the CU301, and you'll see this light begin to flash. And on the screen on your app, it'll start loading data on this product. And once all of that data gets loaded, uh, then you're able to go in and kind of change some of the preferences. You can go into the settings uh, section and adjust it so that it goes from uh, bar, which is a European setting, to PSI, so it's a more familiar setting. And you can increase that to you know, up to 100 PSI. This particular customer asked us to do it at 90, and so we went in, made the change, uh, hit save to the max pressure setting, and then go and set the set point pressure uh, as well at 90 PSI and save. Now, no joke, this is a process that probably takes 20 to 30 minutes kind of back and forth, going in and out of the app, doing some changes, making some setting uh, corrections, and sometimes it, it'll you'll think that it's not working. And so if that happens, you need to get, make sure that your, your dongle is paired to the phone. Make sure that the infrared has connected. And you'll again, you'll know it's working because you've got a flash happening here on the controller itself. If it's not doing that, then you probably want to kill the power and try again. Uh, these can be powered up either using 110 or 220 volt. And in this case, for the bench test, I simply have it plugged in where you've got two hot wires going to the terminal and one to the ground. And we have it plugged into a 110 outlet just so I could make the change. But typically these pumps uh, that work with this device are 220 volt. So once you get in, make the changes, hit set, then close your, um, device, close the power, repower the device back up, the controller, and make sure that you're then able to press the buttons to increase or decrease the pressure. And you'll see that we can go all the way up to 90 PSI now because uh, that's the setting that he wanted. Prior to that, you cannot push the buttons and go any higher than 70. So just thought I would share that with you. Jim at Rainwater Equipment and Rain Harvesting Supplies, we offer these devices and also the SQE pumps as well. You can give us a call at 877-331-7008 or check us out online at rainwaterequipment.com.